the Isle of Man has its own annual event, the Mule. This is a pretty comprehensive type of meeting and attracts a big entry that takes good advantage of the Manx countryside. Basically, the Mule is a one-off event. We, do, we literally run it once a year. There's a combination of green laning, trials events, orienteering. And basically, we're going to try and throw everything we can throw at the lads in a day's off-roading. You can do it for next to nothing. We've got people that are competing and actually winning events in Suzuki's that are picked up for less than less than a thousand pounds. With this event covering several types of 4x4 tests, the right vehicle is essential if your eyes are on the winner's trophy. But if the aim is simply to be part of the fun, then it can be done quite cheaply. I turned up with a standard vehicle as I started off, and I did all right. Didn't do amazingly well, but I did all right. Others, though, are not quite so concerned with preparation, and it's all about the fun of the day, and sometimes what is almost the family vehicle. For this, uh, one of the front tyres got a leak, so I pumped that up this morning, and then I threw all the junk, the rest of the junk that's accumulated in the car out, and that was about it. And my wife bought the Jeep <laughs> for a little runabout, and I had a few goes in it, and I thought, oh, I like this, and over the years it's become mine, and I've modified it and lifted it and changed the gearing and little things like that, so... She still calls it hers, but I use it most of the time now. <laughs> Despite being founded on a fairly small island, the Isle of Man Four Wheel Drive Club has got plenty of members. Uh, we've got about 60 members locally. Um, joining the club's fairly cheap, I think it's £20 a year at the moment. Um, literally turn up and we'll, we run events for everything from beginners in showroom vehicles right through to the kind of modified vehicles you see today. Perceptions are for many people who are not involved in the sport that this kind of fun is a very expensive game. Certainly not always the case, depending on how much you actually want to spend in the first place, but after that it can be pretty light on the wallet and that's what more people are finding out. Well, once you've bought the vehicle, that, that tends to be about it really. I mean, there's a few little running repairs. It depends how handy you are yourself. If, you, if you're quite good at doing a sort of bit of mechanics and fairly basic stuff, the blissful thing about Land Rovers is they're extremely easy to work on. Just about everything works off one spanner and, uh, and that's about it. Um, and then the outlay of the vehicle itself, well, you can spend pretty much anything you want on that, a lot or a little, it's entirely up to you. It's my first year in the club, um, but we do on it's usually at least once a month. Um, it's good fun though, varies, it tends to be things like this, which is uh, a, a mishmash of all sorts of different trials and, and little tasks along the way. We did one fairly recently where uh, it's kind of like an or orienteering type thing, where you have the little punch cards and stuff. Um, so yeah, and then you've just got your sort of traditional trials where you've got stages marked out and you get through the gates type thing. It was mixed weather conditions for this year's event, but that was just going to add to the fun. The Isle of Man is home to many forms of motorsport and it does lend itself very well to off-roading, with plenty of land available to the organisers to set out some very challenging tests on both private and government-owned land. And the result is some great entertainment for all concerned. Usual rules apply. Stuck, you take the last gate you through. You hit a gate, you take that gate. As to getting parts of the vehicle through the gate, it's not your front wheels this time, it's your rear wheels. You can, that way, that way, that way. That's it, go, straighten up, straighter. Right, let it go, let it go, and then go straight back, straight, keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's it, go, 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 go. That way a bit now, get you left lock, left lock, left lock. Straight, straight. All of the day's tests were pretty difficult, but this particular section was certainly a tough test, which became a big talking point. Nightmare in one word. It's uh, a normal section, normal canes and everything, normal rules, but driving it in reverse. And, <clears throat> well, it's difficult if you don't have a co-driver, which I didn't, so I, I really struggled on that one. From a test point of view, the rain that had been falling before the event had added nicely to the flavour and the difficulty factor of the day.
The organisers are well aware that there are many types of vehicles taking part and a varying degree of expertise as well, so they tinkered with the way that some of the tests were run to give a little more variation in the scoring procedure. This is not a standard trial, this is like a runaround trial. Normally if they touch the cane or reverse that would be the end of it. Today with marking it's slightly different, they can take reverses and touch canes but they get marked back. They've got hundreds to start with and then whatever they finish. Ten gates in a, cane, in a section and there's no speed. If you touch the cane with any part of the vehicle then that's the ten marks off. And if they run over the cane, it's still 10 marks. If they stop, it's 10 marks. If they reverse, it's 10 marks. But that's only for this particular event. Normally, as soon as they stop and touch a cane, that's it. They come out of the section, somebody else has a go. With so many different types of terrain available in such a small area, the mule really is a concise test. It does have a bit of everything, so the driver's skills have to be varied, and they are fully tested. Then there are the Manx lanes with their own particular challenges. It turned out to be a very good day and everyone was being challenged by the event. Some of the trial sections have been absolutely brilliant, really, really challenging. So I don't know, I don't know if anybody's actually got full marks on any section yet, which is always a good thing. So it shows that they're difficult enough. Um, brilliant fun so far, absolutely brilliant fun. Another great day out for everyone and another 4x4 event that will no doubt be bigger and better next year and of course harder as the organisers come up with new tests to be conquered.